Those nice warm days of spring are just around the corner. We're all getting a few of them now, which is a great thing. And the sun has a way, though, of stirring up bugs, and nobody wants those in their house. Court Parker doesn't either. He's with Bug Busters here in Chattanooga, a family-owned uh, business for 40 years, 30 of those right here in Chattanooga. You're looking nice and clean this morning, but once upon a time, you were the pest management professional that's right? right out there doing the dirty work yep been under many of these homes in Chattanooga myself and uh, in a lot of different uh, commercial properties and restaurants and and apartments and and attics so you know then the Chattanooga dirt pretty well and it seems like depending on where you live in the city people end up having different complaints about the pests that come their way is that true? That's true. I mean, in Chattanooga, we have an influx of rodent population. We have uh, roaches. We have uh, mosquitoes. I mean, we're right here on the on the river, and there's plenty of other streams that flow into it. So we right. do have stagnant water as well. So we've been talking with a lot of people actually about looking ahead to spring. When you mentioned the mosquitoes, they aren't out yet, but I guess their eggs are there on the bushes. So is well, this the time to treat? You should be prepared for mosquitoes this time of year. We really start our program in March, uh, and it runs every three weeks all the way through October. It's just because it's cold outside doesn't mean there's not mosquitoes. Alaska, some people have been to and know that mosquitoes are there hmm. and just as well as they're here in the south. If there's water, they're going to be around? Stagnant water. Even just the top of a bottle cap can have a thousand larvae in it if it's left out. So when people call bug busters, and by the way, Court was telling me his dad began the company, so he was a kid watching Ghostbusters, and that's how you came up with bug busters. That's right, bug busters, who are you gonna call? <laughs> who are you gonna call? So when you have a technician or a professional come out to your home, do they first just do their own inspection, regardless of what you think you're seeing? You're gonna find out what they might not be seeing? Well, correct, uh, but the best thing to do is first talk to the, the, the customer. We need to find out, hey, what are you having? What are you seeing? And then we're going to take a time to inspect your home. We want to get in your attic. We want to get in your crawl space. We want to look at the whole home mm -hmm. and determine what you need for your services. Do you do termite inspection also? We do a lot of termite work here in Chattanooga. We utilize the Centricon system. So you'll see those little green stations around your home. Mm -hmm. In those stations, there is a product called All Always Active. So once we install those, your home is going to be protected 24-7 and you'll never need another termite treatment again because it's always active and inside there is a non-repellent bait that we want the termites to eat. And once they eat it, they take it back to their colony and kill the colony. So once it's installed, that's it? That's it. Once it's installed, that's it. And then as you, as you continue to pay your monthly renewal mm -hmm. throughout the year, uh, you have coverage. You never have to come back and treat. We never have to put any more liquid around your home like we used to in the days. Right. And come and drill and trench your house. We put in a bathing system it's environmentally friendly. Since we have lots of water here in Chattanooga, mm -hmm. it's smart to utilize Centricon because you don't want to disturb the water system right. here. So um, you mentioned the sprays and that type of thing. Some people get concerned about their pets. A lot of us have pets now since COVID. Uh, is that a concern at all? What we like to do is use target treatments. So if we know you have a pet outside and mm -hmm. we're going to be doing something like a mosquito treatment, we say, hey, bring those guys in, let them stay inside or take them for a walk and give us about three hours for the product to dry on the outside. Now, if we're doing something inside, we're gonna be inside your, your, your cracks and crevices of your home. Mm -hmm. Again, we want it, if we are utilizing a liquid product compared to a bait, we want you to let it dry. So yeah, take them for a walk, take them with you to, to work one day. Right. Seems like a lot of dogs and pets are going to work these days. Right, yeah. So, you know, take them for a little bit. But. Well, uh, you do encourage people, you'll treat uh, regardless, but you encourage people to have a contract with you, I'm guessing because that means that you're always ahead of the curve and That's that way correct. they won't see those bugs. Yeah, I mean, we're preventative maintenance for your home, okay? So what we do is we'll come out four times a year for pest control, and when we do that, we're utilizing products that are time for that time of the year. Mm -hmm. But if you do have a problem any time during the rest of the year, we're gonna come back out. Say you're like, hey, we are seeing ants inside because, hey, we have this fruit sitting out. Or, yeah. hey, we are seeing roaches because guess what? We have about 20 boxes from a local distributor that are sitting here that brought in, or we have dog food bags that brought in roaches. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we'll have to do is some treatments inside, but we want to find the, the pest pressure outside. So besides giving folks your number to call so they can get on that schedule, if you do have cardboard in your garage, get rid of it. Get rid of it. 
and uh, the ants are going to be attracted to the bananas in your um, ants and, and bowl. flies. Yes, and any kind of uh, food that's just sitting out. You know, garbage disposal. You want to make sure you're cleaning that out. You don't want to leave trash overflowing in your trash counters, and you want to keep a you know a clean kitchen, clean bathrooms because pests are just like us. They're looking for a place to live, food to eat, and water to drink, and, and that's what they need. So they're going to find those. If you leave those things available, they're going to find them faster. In a world of corporations, it is no small thing that is still family owned and operated after 40 years. So thanks for your time this morning. No, thank you all for having us. You can find them because who are you going to call? Bug Busters. It's bugbustersusa.com. The phone number is 622-2216. They're over off of Spring Creek Road, but their office is going to be your home. Thanks. No problem. Sit, 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 sit.